Hollywood's Sour Grapes. They call it the American Dream, but for the Jode family and John Steinbeck's epic The Grapes of Wrath, their dreams seem more like a never-ending nightmare. Leave it to Hollywood to take the plight of poverty-stricken migrant farmers and turn it into two hours of tear-jerking miserabilism. We follow Tom Jode fresh out of the slammer after a five-year stretch for manslaughter. You'd think a few years behind bars might teach a guy some patience, but our boy just can't stay out of trouble. Before you know it, he's mixed up in union disputes and causing all sorts of chaos for law enforcement. Clearly, prison rehab is not what it used to be. Meanwhile, Ma Joad is struggling to hold her brood of deadbeat kids and an aging pa together as they shuffle from one dismal roadside camp to the next. I get not having money is a real bummer, but does every conversation have to be a sob fest about the good old days back on the farm? These depression-era Debbies could really use a Xanax. Through it all, the Jodes keep prattling on about community and humanity, as if we live in some utopian fantasy land where starving migrant workers can just show up and get three hots in a cot. Sorry, folks, but the free lunch is over. Time to pull yourselves up by your bootstraps. The one bright spot is a grisly truck accident that takes out Grandpa. At least that's one mouth fewer to feed. In the end, not even Hollywood sentiment can put a happy face on the hopeless hand that life has dealt the Jodes and millions like them. They've learned the hard way, as Steinbeck suggests, that a fella ain't got a soul of his own, but must depend on his fellow man. Sounds more like a recipe for dysfunction and despair, if you ask me. My advice, forget fellowship. Just look out for number one. This so-called grapes of wrath is nothing but a bunch of sour grapes, if you ask me. Why so glum, chums? Cheer up. It can't get much worse.